morning. It is fantastic to see you again today and for another one of our virtual open houses here on Ambergris Quay um, on the, an island just off the coast of Belize. Um, we too are experiencing the uh, effects of the COVID virus right now. Today's date is the 28th of April um, and we have been on what we call lockdown here uh, since the 22nd of March. Um, and uh, it's been an experience. We're very fortunate to have very few cases and uh, we are safe at home and still able to enjoy the beautiful island that we call Ambergris Key or San Pedro. Um, I'm here, my name is Kate Corrigan and I hope you two are home safe and that me saying hello to you brings a little bit of Belize to you today. Um, I still have some sellers that need to sell their homes, some of them more so um, because the, of the virus has, has created some um, extenuated some circumstances for their financial um, responsibility. So um, I'm here to a bit today to bring a little bit of Belize to you, whether you're looking at vacationing, whether you're wanting to just know a little bit about it, uh, whether this is going to be the first spot that you come and visit. Um, I would love Love to welcome you and uh, I'm going to share a little bit of, of what we have today. Today we're going to be looking at Casa El Fuerte. It's a beautiful standalone property only listed literally a week before the coronavirus hit. Um, it is a two bedroom, one bath standalone fam single family home. Um, just one house from the ocean um, and on a stunning piece of property. So what I'm going to do for you first is um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the area and take you there through the map. Um, I can't leave my home made for it at the moment, so we're going to do this through my website. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you where it is on the map, tell you what's around in that area, and then we're going to watch a video together of the property. And I am here to answer any questions that you might have. So please. Put your information in the comments box. I never know which way to move on here. Um, I will get back to you. Or you can email me at kate at frontstreetbelize.com. Um, I actually work with Cal Williams Belize, and I am based here full time on Ambergris Key, which is an island off the coast of Belize. So let me take you through. I am now going to share my screen with you and we're going to have a look at a few things together um, and see how we get on. Uh, let me see. I'm going to share my screen and here I am. And do follow my mouse. I'm a chit chatter, um, chatting away. So do follow my mouse as I'm going through. So my website is frontstreetbelize.com. I have um, several listings, both standalone homes and condos and also pieces of land that might be of interest to you, ranging from 79,000 going up to 3 million. So do, there is something for everybody here on the island. A lot of these properties are also vacation rented, so people move here for various different reasons. They might have it for their second home, their vacation home, or they might have it as their retirement plan, literally to purchase now, rent, pay for itself, maybe your vacations once or twice a year, and then you have something here for you when, you are, when you're ready to uh, throw in the towel and, and live on an island in the Caribbean Sea. So today we're going to be looking at Casa El Fuerte. So you go to my website and you would uh, go, it's actually one of my featured properties here on the first page, but you could also go by type or by location or you can go by price too. So we're going to go to um, family homes and here we are at Casa El Fuerte. You see this beautiful courtyard here? There's actually plenty of room for a pool or something, but it is quite nice to be able to drive in uh, as well. This property is about nearly, nearly 1,400 square foot uh, and it sits on a 75 by um, 53 parcel and it's nestled in, a, in an area called South San Telmo neighborhood. Um, it's a subdivision on Ambergris Key and probably uh, actually exactly um, a mile from town I would say. Um, yeah, it, it really isn't very far, probably would take you about 20 minutes as a brisk walk along the beach to get there. So let me take you through how we are, how we can get there. I'm going to take, show you on the map. Uh, if you scroll down on my page, you will see 
here we are, we have the map. So I've already got this opened up, but you can just click on there and it will take you through to here. For those of you who are watching for the first time, uh, Belize is on the um, border of Guatemala and Mexico. Uh, you fly into Belize City and then you would take, if, when coming to the island, you would take a puddle jumper, a 12 minute flight on one of two airlines, or you would take a water taxi, and that's on one of two commercial um, commercial uh, boats that come across. So it really is very easy to get here, uh, and there are usually lots of flights coming into Belize. So hopefully we'll be welcoming you when the borders do open again in a month or so, a couple of months' time. So San Pedro is here. It's about 28 miles long, maybe a one mile ride at its widest point. Probably has between, I don't know, uh, 18 to 20, just over 20,000 people, depending on the time of year. And Belize as a country has about 400,000 people now in the whole of the country. So we have a lot to explore. This here is the second largest barrier reef in the world. Um, we are known for our diving, our fishing, our so much. Uh, it really is quite a special place with such a unique, diverse community and things to do. So you would fly in on the airstrip about here. Here is the airstrip. Or you would come in by boat about here. And then, again, we're going south today um, along Coconut Drive and then along Seagrape Drive. Normally, I would be driving you. It's such a shame. I'm normally driving along to my open houses. Um, but here we are. We have, uh, we would come past Caribbean Villas, Xanadu, which is a beautiful eco-resort. And then we get to Banyan Bay and the new Alaya. This is San Telmo neighborhood right here. It's a great neighborhood, as I say, about a mile from town. Um, this is your, the home we're talking about is this one here with the little red roof. I hope you can see that. This is Casa El Fuerte. So it's in a little cul-de-sac where you would drive in here from the main Sea Grape Drive. Right here is you have a little uh, south area. You've got Super Buy store. This is a grocery store where you can get everything that you need, cans and some fresh, a small amount of fresh produce and all of your cleaning. It's a regular grocery store that you would go to. Kind of our equivalent of an island Walmart, um, <laughs> but really just serves food and a couple of other things. You've got the beautiful International Baker. Oh my goodness, this is where they've been open three days a week in the morning. And my other half favorite is the peanut butter cookies. Um, and we also buy the whole wheat bread, which we pop straight in the freezer and then slice it frozen. And it, uh, as, it, as we're making our sandwiches, it defrosts and it's just as fresh as the day you bought it. Um, they also do the best English muffins in the world. So yeah, it, it really is um, a nice little spot. You've got a hairdresser, a barber shop here. You have a pharmacy here. You have Marina Store. Marina Store is also a local, more local grocery store. You can find some more reasonable prices in there as well. Uh, you also have a local restaurant. I think it's uh, Antoinito's, if I pronounce that right. Uh, they do great local dishes like stewed chicken and, and pork chops and rice and beans and all the good stuff. Lovely soups. Uh, we do go there for their great soups. They do a great clear chicken soup as well as escabeche and some other lovely local favorites. Um, we also, what else do we have here? We also have a Chinese restaurant. Um, right here in this little area, you have everything. So you get a guest that pops by, no problem. Hang on a minute, you just nip to the store, you can buy cakes and fresh pastries, sandwiches, all sorts of lovelies right here. And then you can also get your street food in the evenings as well. So you really are, have everything on your doorstep and yet you're in such a lovely little um, neighborhood here as well. These are local families that live around you here. And then we have some more um, higher end condos uh, here on the beachfront that are, are usually rented um, by business persons and, and international persons. Next door, you have the Alaya being built. 
absolutely stunning. This is going to be a, is a Marriott Hotel. Here is the Alaya. I love that they've got some new faces, photos here on uh, Google. Um, this is the original Banyan Bay. Phenomenal restaurant. Shout out to uh, Chef Laurent and his wonderful wife. Um, they do the greatest food. And this is literally walking distance from where we're looking at today. Absolutely brilliant restaurant. Dive shop here. Um, they do yoga out on the dock here, I think, two or three times a week um, during the season. And, yeah, it, it really is quite pretty. Here are a, a mixture of long-term residents and vacation residents. Um, this is also going to be a part of the Marriott collection associated with this development here. This is the most beautiful beach in the area, beautifully maintained. They've got a wonderful system which keeps the um, sagasa, the seagrass out. And we're really in a lovely spot of town. I love it. Um, it it's on the paved road, south of the island. Um, you're a mile walk from town uh, in the San Telmo area. It really is quite stunning. So let's take a look at the house together. I am going to open up the video for us to have a look. This is Casa El Fuerte. Uh, my name is Kate Corrigan, if you're just joining us right now. It is a two bed, one bath home, and approximate just under 1400 square foot on a piece of beautiful property, 75 by 53 in, the, in San Pedro town in the San Telmo area. Um, and yeah, let, let's, let's have a look together and see what we think. Do remember, if you have any questions, uh, please post them in the comments box, private message me, or you can email me. I don't know whether you can hear the sound here, but this is a beautiful breezy day that we uh, we videoed here. Look at this beautiful open space. It's beautifully decorated. Um, and see these vaulted cathedral ceilings, 16, over 16 foot high. Um, you've got uh, this open plan kitchen living area. The kitchen has been totally upgraded. You've got a a, a nice poured concrete surfaces, uh, brand new appliances, all in excellent working order. All the faucets, everything in the property is doing really, really well. Um, there is no, no um, indication of corrosion. This is the guest bedroom. Lots of windows, which I love. It is a darker inside property, but it definitely keeps it cool with this Spanish type, type feel. This is a master with the built-in closet. Both bedrooms have built-in closets, and this is the walk-in ensuite bathroom. There's 180 foot of covered deck area, and then this beautiful area outside, and this viewing observatory that you can climb up to. It's over 35 foot high. And here we are, you're right on the beach. The house is right here. Um, you've got the sailing club next door. Really is quite stunning. So what I want to do is take you through through of the some of the photographs um, so that we can have a chat. Let's have a look at the specs as well. Um, city water, electric, and sewage coming from here. So you don't have to worry about any of your septics or anything like that. It's all cooked up to the city. Super low maintenance. They have a, a young man that lives next door in the local neighborhood that pops into the house um, and he also cleans the yard, washes down the outside walls, makes sure that you know any bird droppings or anything are cleaned up. You also have a garage here, which is lovely. So there's no HOAs, of course. It's a very low maintenance home. Um, you have the 16 foot cathedral ceilings, the covered veranda. It's what I would describe a Spanish style home. Um, it's got locally built hardwood cabinetry and finishings. Uh, there is a full online security inside and outside of the home. Um, that means that should there be any kind of a breach, um, they can speak two ways through it and it is also hooked up to set off an alarm and 
neighbors in the area look out for the property should you choose not to be living in it or you just go away it's a very secure property um with literally i think it was about 11 steps to the ocean yeah 11 steps is what i counted from your gate to the ocean it, the beach is about 11 steps so really great now the observatory is about 35 foot high i think it was built with one piece the, the pieces of um uh telephone pylons that you have in one piece it's 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 amazing when you go up there you can stardaze you can look out at the ocean it's basically putting an ocean view in in not an ocean uh, on ocean property although you can see the ocean from the bedroom window and from your uh, dining room uh, you can so it was built in 1982 let's just have a look through some of these pictures i'm going to start at the end and work back so here we go here is the house here and this you've got a double gate right here that takes you right out and then you can come this is a public easement here that's recently been widened um, and you walk out onto the beachfront here there is pier 366 and the wonderful chef laurent they've also got a beach bar and stone oven there and there's the dive there's sorry this is the dive shop pier 366 is just a little bit back um we are gonna take you back through here uh, this is all gone now actually this is the other side of a wall but they were um a system for see the observatory here these are the telephone pylons one piece each of them one piece all strapped up absolutely fantastic spot it's a cul-de-sac you drive down here from the bakers and there's a couple of local families that live by the side of you here and then beautiful new built condos on the front floor pan for you um so this is the outside area the covered veranda you'd walk in you've got this beautiful open plan living kitchen area guest bedroom with a built-in wardrobe um kitchen bathroom as you can see there's an entrance from the main family area and also from the master bedroom this the guest bedroom is actually bigger than the master but they choose to use this one because it has the ensuite so um that works here's a view from the observatory isn't that stunning stunning i wish i had that view from my house i do not live on the ocean front but um yeah it is quite special uh, looking down on the house you can see it's got a great roof really great roof this is the garage you can actually drive your golf cart in here and lock this away this is an addition to the house since the current owners have had it um, there is room to this the, these posts here are for you to put your kayaks or paddle boards whatever you your, your toys your ocean toys um, so there's room for you to pull in your garage make it a little into a workshop um, there it is. shows you how a golf cart fits in I love the outside space here it's so pretty see you've got these double gates and now that this entrance has been widened you may well have the opportunity there is a boat dock just up the road from here you may well have the opportunity to bring your boat up here and bring it into your yard should you need to bring it up onto dry land for any period of time so you were going away or something like that so if you wanted to have a boat there's enough room in the yard and you could probably bring it in through here there is another opportunity here. You can have it dry docked at Captain Shark's um, dry dock facility and they will come collect it and park it up for you, do any works on it until you um, bring it back for you when you want. Um, renting a dock here with security is anything from 100 to 200 release dollars a month. So that's a 50 to 100 US. I'm going to scoot through these garden pictures and then we can have a look inside. This is a great size bathroom, only a single sink, but it, it just works. It's just such a, got such a lovely feel to this home. I can't tell you how calm it feels to walk through it. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. I would love to be able to help you with them. It really is quite uh, different to be able to bring this to you in this way. And uh, I know that you must have some questions and I would gladly help you. My name is Kate Corrigan. If you are just watching this, you can see my little name here. Um, and you can contact me on kate at frontstreetbelize.com 
or you can uh, private message me through the message board here uh, or comment and I will get back to you. See these lovely kitchen surfaces? This just fits this home. They're concrete, very easy to maintain. All the appliances are either new or um, just in great condition. This is actually a pantry in here. This is a cupboard. It has the water heater in it and it's a nice pantry. Somebody's decided to do some drilling outside. These are sofa sleepers too. Both of these are sofa sleepers. And there we are, back at the beginning. The reef is just a 20 minute kayak ride or a half an hour swim. Um, you've got great beaches here that you can use. Got Aquafit next door. That's about it from me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, my name is Kate Corrigan. I am call I'm speaking to you from Amber Greece Key today um, on the 28th of April. And we are currently experiencing the effects of the pandemic of COVID-19. And uh, I wish you health and happiness during this time and hope that I will be welcoming you here um, one day soon. Uh, we must uh, make the island will certainly be ready for you and we are certainly worth the wait. It's a stunning place. I hope that this little video has helped you see a little bit of that. Uh, we're in the San Telmo area and we are looking at Casa El Fuerte, a, uh, listed at $335,000 and uh, it's ready for you to make your home should you wish to. I look forward to hearing from you and, uh, and speak to you soon.